Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Coco Beats. This is Laura and today I'm bringing good luck to your life by showing you how to make this red string lucky bracelet. If you make it to somebody you love, it's gonna be more powerful, so you know, share this video and exchange these bracelets. You need just a few supplies, 1mm red cord and a jade bead. You need two cords, 10 cm longer than your wrist measurements, and one cord, 15 cm long. Grab the two longer cords and hold them over your finger. Take the cord that is below and make a loop just like this. Wrap the other cord around your finger and take it through the loop. Pull the first cord to tighten and then pull the other. Do it little by little, there's no need to rush. This is called a snake knot. Let's do it one more time. Grab the cord that is below and make a loop. Wrap the other cord around your finger and take it through the loop. Little by little, pull both cords. Can you see that both knots are very close to each other? That is the right way to make it. Okay, one more time. Make a loop with the cord, just like so. Wrap the other around your finger and take it through the loop. Now pull both cords to tighten. It is that simple. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. If you are starting, you will need some practice to make this knot. But it's just practice, I promise. Now you have to insert the bead. I've chosen a jade stone bead because it is a very protective stone and very good for Libras. And this is another way to make the snake knot. Take the right cord to the left, passing behind the other. Now take it back to the right, making a loop in the left. As you can see here, the cord is over the two central cords. Take the other cord up over the tail, like this. And now up through the loop. Just like so. Pull the tighten. One more time, take the right cord to the left, passing behind the other cord, make a loop on the left, take the other cord up, like this, and then up again through the loop. And pull to tighten. By the way, you need to pull very, very well, all right? It's important. You have to repeat these steps one more time. I reckon the second way is more difficult to tighten, but both ways are the same. They are the same knot and just try both and find the easiest way for you. And well, this is how it should look like. Don't you love it? Because I really do. I don't know, I just, I think I love how simple it is. And now all you have to do is to make a knot in every side and burn them a little bit.
It is just a simple knot, nothing complicated. And now let's make this bracelet adjustable. You have to fold the bracelet over just like so. So take the 15 cm square underneath like this. Loop the left strand to form like an L shape or it's like a C shape. And take the right strand, place it over the tail. Now come underneath and go up through the loop. Then pull to tighten. We'll repeat the process on the other side, so this time I'm starting with the right core, fold it over, then take the left core over the right core, and then behind the center two cores and up through the loop. This is called a square knot, and now we have to make another one. As I always say, you can choose any other kind of fan for your bracelet, but I think this adjustable class at the end is perfect if you don't want to spend a lot of money. Two knots are enough to hold all those cords together, but you can make more if you like. All you have to do now is to cut any excessive thread you have and burn it a little bit. This is it. I already got mine from my besties, so I think that from now on, I'm gonna be so lucky. If you like this video, please give me thumbs up and subscribe for more creative DIY jewelry. Hit the bell to be notified every time I post new videos. Hope to see you in my next tutorial, but until then, remember, stay beautiful, smile and be very, very happy.